Hello guys, good evening. Happy to see you again. Jacqueline, Rodrigo, how you how you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome guys. Happy to see you again. How's your day going, guys? Welcome, Dinora. Welcome, Jonathan. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, guys. How are your day? How's your day going? How are you doing today, guys? Okay. I hope you guys are doing fine. I hope you guys had a great day. It's nice to see you again. This day on Tuesday, we are uh, almost at the middle of the week. So we should be happy. We should be excited because we are almost in the middle. Uh, actually, we're in the middle of the month. So that's very good, right? Maybe some of you may get paid tomorrow. So that's probably going to be something really good if that is the case, right? So, and happy to see you guys. When it comes to me, guys, I get paid on the uh, 30th of every month. So I get paid just once, once a month. I don't know about you. And it's kind of hard because I, I, I don't, I mean, I used to like it more when I got paid like twice a month. But now I just get paid just once a month. And I get really anxious sometimes because I just feel like it takes a long time so I can get my paycheck. So it feels like a really long wait. I don't like it, guys. <laughs> I like money. I don't know about you, but I like money. Me too. <laughs> you too. Okay, very good. Well, in my case, I feel a little nervous because I have an interview on Thursday. And I can understand when another people speak in English, but for me it's so hard when I try to communicate. I tend to get a little nervous. I know what you mean. Yes. I know exactly what you mean. Yes, and that's fine. I mean, maybe you, yeah, you, you can get nervous. I think that all of us get nervous, especially when we are thinking that uh, we could say something wrong and then we start getting even more nervous because of that. So I think that you will do it just fine. You just have to take your time. And also you have to try to uh, just keep things simple. Like don't try to make uh, things like complicated because that's something that happens sometimes. Maybe we want to just, uh, I think that we need to stay to, uh, I'm sorry, we need to stick with the things that we know already. Like, for example, if you believe that you can uh, understand and you can uh, handle like some vocabulary, I think that you should stick to that, not try to do something like crazy and try to say something that uh, probably at the end is going to be even more awkward and it's going to make things harder. So I think that we should just uh, really stick to what we know. Let's get good luck. Good luck, Jonathan. Hopefully everything goes fine for you. Thanks. I consider that. I got it. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully. Just uh, I, I know that you're really good because I can I can say that I can tell that. So you you will you'll be just fine. I, I know that. I know you'll be fine. <clears throat> no sé qué. <laughs> lo lo más importante quizás es prepararse, verdad? Yo cuando tenía una entrevista, todo el tiempo, guys, lo que hacía era como que, bueno, uh, creo que todos quizás lo hacemos, pero es como empezar a buscar información, tal vez información acerca de la compañía para la que queremos trabajar o para el puesto, la posición por la que queremos trabajar. Uh, we look for information about that, about uh, exactly how the company works, and uh, their values, their history, uh, that kind of things. And then uh, probably you can also find 
uh, some advice on what to say at a job interview. If, if it is a job interview, uh, then you can try to find like the most common uh, questions. Like, for example, tell me about yourself. And then uh, why do, do you want to work here? And that kind of things, right? I, I think that uh, if you get, if you prepare for the interview, then uh, you have more uh, opportunity uh, to do a good job at the interview. So I think that that is one of the most important things. It's like when we come to the class, for example, uh, if we study for the class and if we have a test that we need to complete, if we study for the test, then uh, that is going to uh, help us and that is going to almost guarantee if we study that we, that is going to guarantee that we can get a good grade, right? But if we don't study for the test, then uh, there are a lot of chances that we end up having a bad grade because of that, right? So I think that that is something really important. You guys need to uh, focus on that kind of things. Like if you have a job interview, you have to uh, prepare for that, right? So, well, guys, it's nice to see you again. Uh, thank you for coming, Josue. We have Kevin here. Good evening, Kevin. How are you? It's nice to see you. I think that somebody told me that it was just going to listen to the class because they say that they are stuck in traffic or something like that. Hale, ma'am, no sé quién es. Hale, no sé. I don't know, guys. This is really hard <laughs> for me because I know that sometimes people don't have their names on the on their WhatsApp profile. So I don't know uh, who is who it is at the end. I, I don't know. So well, guys, thank you for coming. I'm happy to see you again. Uh, yesterday we kind of practiced a little bit. We talked for a couple of minutes at the beginning of the class. And you guys told me uh, stories about uh, things that you experienced in the past. And we also listened to, an, uh, to a, video, a video lesson that we have about uh, around the campfire. That was the name. It was a spooky story, uh, if you remember that. And the purpose of that story was to practice and to uh, get into the topic of uh, the past uh, progress, past continues, and also the simple past. Because when we want to talk about something that happened in the past, uh, many times we have to use different uh, past tenses, right? Like for example, the simple past and the past continues. So we learned yesterday. We kind of had the opportunity to do that uh, just a little bit. Uh, how to uh, tell the stories about something that happened in the past, right? Like for example, uh, we said things like, so he picked flowers uh, for her and then he uh, brought uh, flowers every evening uh, for her and he was running and as he was getting closer and closer, then uh, the smoke was getting uh, thicker and thicker. So we kind of uh, had like a little introduction on how to tell stories and especially uh, things that, you know, happened in, in the past, right? So for today, guys, we're gonna continue working on that. We need to practice. Vamos a ver. Tenemos a Walter. How are you doing, Walter? Hey, sir. Hi. How you how you doing today, Walter? Yeah. Very quiet today. Thank What's you. going on? Yeah. I don't know why, Walter, but you're going in and out. It sounds like you have a bad connection. Are you experiencing any kind of connection problems right now? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to resolve it. 
Hi, hear me? No. I'm sorry. For, uh, I'm. No I'm problem, Walter. That's okay. And I'm. Maybe later we can hear you because I right think now. So. The, okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Maybe we can try later, Walter, because right now it sounds like you have a bad connection. Welcome, Daniela. Thank you for coming. It's nice to see you. Thank you. I'm sorry for being late, but I was in another class. The teacher has problem with the wireless and he started late the class. So the class end at the same late. I'm sorry for being late, but I'm here. That's okay. Yeah, thank you, Daniela. So she had like some connection problems. That's the reason why uh, the class ended later than it was supposed to be. Yes. Can you hear me now? Okay, very good. Thank you, Daniela. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, that's a, I'm that's sorry a... about that. I think that I started the, the the meeting in the bad way because of that it was not working at all. So okay. you asked me about my day and I, I mentioned that I'm trying to resolve the test. Meanwhile, I'm trying to hear what you are saying. And okay, that's good. what I wanted to say. All right, Thanks. thank you. Very good. Walter, I appreciate that. So you're like multitasking right now. I try. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you. Now I can hear you. Yeah, I don't know why, but it sounds it sounded like you had a bad connection just a minute ago. So I'm I'm happy that now we can hear you. That's a lot yes. better. Okay. Okay, okay. Very good. Right, guys. Yeah, sometimes we can have bad connection and that can affect the audio quality, so that's okay. I understand that. That happens to me as well sometimes i have a internet connection that is just dedicated for these just for work so i don't have any interruptions so usually i don't have any problems with it unless it is like raining or something like that then uh things get complicated because uh you know uh, when it rains uh then the connection starts to uh go in and out and then uh i may lose connection sometimes right but other than that, I think that pretty much I have a good connection all the time. So, right guys, so like I was saying, uh, we need to continue today with our uh, presentation, with our classes. So yesterday we talked about how to tell stories a little bit. Do you remember that? We had uh, some uh, vocabulary, a very interesting vocabulary like uh, flowers, in bloom, we talked about uh, the campfire. We also said like some phrasal verbs like turned into and also uh, checking on, on someone, for example, that kind of things, right? You guys already know that. So for today, we're going to continue. And there's something that I would like to do. Vamos a ver acá. Vaya, ¿por qué me gustaría mostrarles algo para ir ahí como empezando? Guys, I'm sorry about this. Sorry it's taking so long. Okay, there we go. All right, so I have like this little reading here that I want to share with you. So uh, I would like to practice a little bit today. So I have like these... Uh, I have two readings that I want to practice with you. So I'm just going to put these on the screen and then um, I would like for some of you to volunteer and maybe read what it says. Uh, so we can practice a little bit of reading, right? Because we need to practice like everything. It's not just about uh, speaking. It's not just about listening. It's not just about uh, that kind of things. We need to practice everything, right? All right, so we have Jonathan and then we have Daniela. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start with Jonathan and then uh, Daniela uh, goes next. Okay, so you can go ahead, Jonathan. Well, the day began like any other. I got up, had breakfast, and hopped into my car. Get up to it, get it, 
up for the half hour drive to work. The sun was out, birds chirping, everything seemed great, but as I rounded the corner, I was met with a massive line of cars. There was an accident ahead and the road was shut down. I was stuck after an hour of waiting. The traffic finally bogged and I hurried to the parking lot near my workplace. Just as I was finding a spot, the sky darkened and rain poured down Toronto. I searched for my umbrella, mm -hmm. but it wasn't there. I had taken out of the car the previous night. Thinking quickly, I remembered a coat in the trunk. Trunk. I dashed to the back, found it, and trimmed the gear down, doing the coat and sliming the trunk shut. But in my rush to reach the office, I realized I locked my key in the trunk. Exhausted and frustrated and frustrated, climbed back into the car and called my husband for the spare key. I ended up behind, behind two hours late for work. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I appreciate that. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions about this vocabulary, Jonathan? Uh, any words that you don't recognize? Um, for example, the seemed. Seemed. At the third line. Uh -huh. Right. So everything seemed great. Like, seemed that's what it great. seems. Mm -hmm. What is it's the meaning the, of this? Yeah, it's like the simple past of seem. Like, for example, when you say, it seems like it's going to rain uh, because the this, this, this sky is really cloudy. So it, it seems like it's going to rain or it seems like, uh, right. But it's okay. Yeah, I, oh, it's like that. I, I remember, I got it. You got it. Okay, very good. Thanks. Very good. You're welcome. Very good. So then we had Daniela. I think that Daniela wanted to participate. Okay. Yeah. The day began like any other. I got up at breakfast and hopped into my car, get up for the half hour drive to work. The sun was out, we we're stripping, everything seemed great. But as I round but as I around the corner, I was met with a massive line of cars. Mm -hmm. There was an accident ahead, and the road was shut down. I was stuck. After an hour of waiting, the traffic finally budded, and I hurried to the parking lot near my workplace. Just as I was finding a spot, the sky darkened and rain poured down torrential. I searched for my umbrella, but it wasn't there. I taken it out of the car the previous night. Thinking quick, thinking quickly, I remembered I caught I caught in the trunk. Mm -hmm. I dashed the back, found it, and threw the key down, down in the coat and slamming my trunk shut. But in my rush to reach the office, I realized I locked my key and the trunk in the trunk. <laughs> oh my goodness, exhausted and frustrated. I cleaned me back into the car and mm -hmm. called my husband for the spare key. I ended up being two hours late for work. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Right, very good. Thank you, Daniela. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is kind of like a funny story. Yeah, I know. Uh, when I when I found it, I was like, yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, guys are going to love it because it's, it's, I mean, it's like so crazy how everything happens. And it's like frustrating when you when you read this story, you feel like, oh my goodness, uh, I would be really upset if that happened to me. Very good. Very that good happened job. to me too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Anila. Right. So we have a very good job, by the way. Very good job, guys, so far. Okay. We have other people that want to participate. We have Louise and Kevin. So uh, I'm just going to probably going to say a couple of things before we continue. So it's like uh, just a couple of words. I know that maybe we're not familiar with uh, some words. That could be a reason why we don't know exactly how to pronounce them. So, but overall, you guys are doing great so far. So burst, chirping, everything seemed great. But as I rounded the corner, I was met with a massive line of cars. Okay. And then let's see, uh, the road was shut down. I was stuck 
after an hour of waiting, the traffic finally botched. Okay, it's kind of like complicated word to pronounce. Uh, and I heard it to the parking lot near my workplace. Uh, then, uh, this is good, you guys are doing a great job. Uh, rain poured down, torrential. And then let's see what else. Uh, uh, thinking quickly, I remembered a code in the trunk. I dashed to the back, uh, I'm sorry, I dashed to the back, found it and threw the key down. And know that when you hide, uh, I mean, when we have to pronounce all the different words uh, quickly, then it, it, it is more uh, like difficult, right? I know that. <laughs> so don't, don't worry, okay? Uh, I just wanna make sure that we have like the right pronunciation, like the key down, down in the coat, and it's slumming the trunk shut, right? But in my rush to reach the office, I realized I'd locked my key in the trunk. Exhausted and frustrated, I climbed back into the car and called my husband for the spare key, okay? Spare and climbed, okay? That, that just like uh, probably, I, I think that you guys pronounce it a little different. Like, I just wanted to uh, give you the right pronunciation, right? Okay, vamos a ver, eh, tenemos por ahí a Luis. Okay, so Luis, you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, the day began like any other. I got up at breakfast and hopped into my car. Geared up for a half an hour drive to work. The sun was out, birds chirping, everything seemed great. But as I rounded the corner, I was met with massive line of cars. There was an accident ahead and the road was shut down. I was stuck. After an hour of waiting, the traffic finally botched. And I hurried up to and I hurried to the parking lot near my workplace. Just as I was finding a spot, the sky darkened and rain poured down torrential. I searched for my umbrella, but I wasn't there. I taken it out for a car the previous night. Thinking quickly, I remember a coat in the trunk. I dashed to the back, found it, and threw the key down, donning the coat and slamming the, tr uh, the trunk shut. But in my rush to reach the office, I realized I locked my key in the trunk. Exhausted and frustrated, I climbed back into the car and called my husband for the spare key. I ended up being two hours late for work. Okay, very good. Excellent job, Luis. Thank you. Very good. Very, very good. All right, great. Okay, then we have, I think, Kevin. Okay, Kevin, you can go ahead. The day began like any other. I got up, had breakfast, and hope into my car geared up for a half hour drive to work. The sun was out, birds chirping. Everything seemed great, but as I rounded the corner, I was met with a massive line of cars. There was an accident ahead and the road was shut down. I was stuck. After an hour of waiting, traffic finally broke, and I hurried to the parking lot near my workplace. Just as I was fin finding the spot, the sky darkened and rain poured down. The rain showed. I searched for my umbrella, but it wasn't there. I take it out of the car the previous night. Thinking quickly, I remember a coat in the trunk. I dashed to the back, found it, and threw the key down, down in the coat and slamming the trunk shut. But in my rush to reach the office, I realized I had locked my key in the trunk. Exhausted and frustrated, I climbed back into the car and called my husband for the spur key. I ended up being two hours late for work. All right, very good. Thank you so much, Kevin. Very good job. Excellent, guys. Very, very good. I liked it. You guys are doing a great job. So I want to uh, congratulate you because you guys are awesome. You guys are good. Vamos a ver. Por aquí tenía también otra, pero creo que, no sé si, tal vez si alguien más quiere participar, yo tenía por acá otra pequeña lectura. That says, uh, several years ago, I went to stay with some friends who lived in an old house in the country. I had not told them I was coming, and when I arrived, they already had other visitors. Um, okay, but this is like another, like, example, like another story that I had, just in case that somebody else wanted to participate. Vamos a ver. Ok, 
Ok, no sé si Jonathan quiere participar otra vez o Kevin, no sé. I'm confused. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Go Why ahead, not? Teacher. Why not? Sure, go ahead. Well, several years ago, I went to stay with some friends who lived in a whole house in the country. I had not told them I was coming. And when I arrived, they already had other visitors. Never mind, say my friend. Ella, mm -hmm. you, you can sleep in the smallest room. We don't often use it, but you will be all right for one night. As we say good night, Ella had it on uh, had it. Oh, and please look the door before you go to bed. Otherwise it may open by itself. Well, I looked at the door, laid down in a bed and went to sleep. During the night, I slept badly. I didn't really know if I was asleep or awake, but suddenly I knew I was awake. Hands were touching my face. I tried to push them away, but there was nothing. I found the light switch and put on the light. There was no one in the room. <laughs> It was just a dream, so scary, <laughs> I thought. And I went back to sleep. When I woke up next morning, I got another surprise. The door, which I had shut and looked, was open. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah. And scary. You... <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I appreciate that. Hopefully, yeah. this is not too scary for you guys. I just found it, and I thought that it was kind of interesting so i said why not maybe guys can maybe guys will like it Vamos a ver, Daniela. not much not much okay <laughs> i apologize i apologize guys sorry about that so thank you so much jonathan you did a great job Vamos a ver, Daniela. okay several years ago i went to play i went to stay with some friends who lived in an old house in the country i had not told them i was coming and when i arrived they already had the other visitors. Never mind, say my friend Ella. You can sleep in the small guest room. We don't often use it, but you'll be all right for one night. As we say good night, Ella I did. Added. I don't know what's the pronunciation. Added. Oh, mm -hmm. added. Okay, mm -hmm. Ella added. Oh, and please lock the door before you go to bed. Otherwise, it may open by itself. Well, I locked the door, lay down in bed, and went to sleep. During the night, I slept badly. I didn't really know if I was asleep or awake, but suddenly I knew I was awake. Hands here touching me, touching my face. I tried to push them away, but there was nothing. I found a light switch and put on the light. There was no one in the room. It was just a dream, I thought, and I went back to sleep. When I woke up next morning, I got another surprise. The door, which I had shut down and locked, was open. All right, very good, Daniela. Thank you. Hopefully you guys don't have any nightmares with this, but very good job, Daniela, I liked it. I like the uh, the pronunciation, I like the the energy. It almost sounds like it happened to you. It, it felt like you were telling me a story that actually happened to you. That was really good, I liked it. Thank you. It's because I, under I understood mostly words here and before, I didn't know many words or pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Very good. I'm happy to hear that Thank you. we are learning something new. That's good. You're welcome. You're welcome, Nela. Thank so, you. You're welcome. So, yeah, we have... Um, the reason why I brought these uh, two stories for you guys is for you to read, because I know that this is something important that we need to practice reading. Uh, we also learn new words, uh, like in this case, we learn new expressions and I try to always bring like something that you guys can use in a daily basis. Like for example, uh, these kind of expressions like to push something away, uh, lock the door, uh, turn the lights on, that kind of things, right? That's something that you can use uh, in your life. I mean, in a conversation with some friend or whatever, we can use these kind of expressions, right? Uh, like, for example, in this case, uh, we said, 
Now we have here, uh, well, I locked the door, lay down in bed, and went to sleep, right? This is something that we do every day. We lay down in bed and we go to sleep, right? In this case, we are talking about something that we did in the past. And then uh, I slept badly. I didn't really know it if I was awake. Oh, I'm sorry, asleep or awake. But suddenly I knew I was awake. Hands were touching my face. I tried to push them away, but there was nothing, right? So I found the light switch. As you can see, we have a lot of vocabulary that we can use. So I, I liked it because of that, because of that reason, because I think that this is something that we can use. Um, vamos a ver. Bueno, <clears throat> no sé si tenemos alguna pregunta, guys, acerca de alguna palabra, algún vocabulario, algo, eh, algo que ustedes quieran compartir hasta ahora. Are we good? Good. Okay, very good. Very, very good. I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, we can uh, try to do something like this in the future again, right? Okay, guys. So let me just get out of this. I'm just going to exit out of this. And then we are going to move over to something different, right? Vamos a ver por acá. Bueno, esta era la parte acerca de las historias. Estábamos hablando acerca de las historias espeluznantes, si se acuerdan, ese era el tema de ayer. Así que ya tuvimos la oportunidad que sea, de practicar un poquito. Mañana creo que sí vamos a practicar como en parejas o algo así, para que podamos ir dándole más dinamismo, que podamos ir haciendo cosas diferentes. No quiero que nos quedemos en lo mismo todo el tiempo. So, uh, hopefully tomorrow, guys, we can do that, right? Okay, so we can move on to the next part, uh, the next, the next, uh, lesson which is uh, we have the lesson objective here it says in this class you will practice the past continuous versus the simple past okay so we have a little video that we are going to watch and then we can uh, discuss right so let me just a second guys i want to share All right, guys, so this video is about uh, the simple past and the past progressive and how we use them uh, combined. So we can talk about something that happened like uh, when we are doing something and then uh, there is another action which interrupts what we were doing in the past. So basically, this is what this video is about. So we're going to watch the video and then, like I mentioned before, we can uh, discuss and practice a little bit. Okay. So let's pay attention to the video. It's just a six minutes long video. It's not gonna take that much. So we can watch this video, okay? So let me just go ahead and play it for you. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. There we go.
Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for letting me know, Daniela. I, I'm sorry about that, guys. I think I forgot to click on the option to share the sound. So I apologize. That was my mistake. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank, thank you. No, thank you, Daniela. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why it, it keeps happening to me. It's like, this is something that happened before. But maybe I'm too tired. Okay, let me it's just... okay. Thank you, Daniela. All right, there we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn the difference between the past continuous and the simple past. Additionally, you'll learn how to express your ideas using both tenses. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to learn is that we'll use both tenses together in order to express complex sentences. So let me give you a quick example. If you want to explain that you were doing an activity such as eating dinner and you were interrupted, uh, let's say by uh, a friend or someone called you, in order to express this idea, you must use the two tenses together. So for example, I was eating dinner last night when my girlfriend called me. So let's look at the definition. We use the past progressive with the simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. So if we look at this example here, they were enjoying the morning. This is the action that was in progress. And there was an interruption. That interruption was that when the thief stole the briefcase. So now let's look at some other examples. So we got about two or three examples here. And um, again, we are trying to express that whole idea that there was a continuous action happening in the past and there was an interruption that occurred. So the example here is, while he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. So if we look at the timetable here at the bottom, we can see that the past event was, or the past continuous event was, that he was escaping from the bank. All of a sudden, this action was interrupted by this blue event, which is the robber got caught in the roll door. Um, and then the next example is quite similar. As Jake was running towards the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. The last one is uh, similar. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Um, just a quick reminder here. Um, also something that we should uh, keep in mind is that usually, not all the time, while and as will follow a past continuous statement. So as you can see, while he was escaping from the bank, as Jake was running. So typically, these words will follow a past progressive um, statement, if you will. So, All right, guys. So I just want to stop for a minute so I can uh, talk to you about a couple of things. Like we have in this case, we have the past, the present, and the future, right? So right now we're talking about something that uh, was happening in the past and it got interrupted by another action. Like in this case, uh, this uh, cross uh, in blue, uh, this is the action that interrupted uh, the other action that was in progress in the past, right? And in this case, uh, we also, we have like three examples here. And uh, he was saying that typically when we have these expressions like while or as, uh, most of the times uh, that is going to be uh, followed by a past continuous statement, right? Like while he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door, right? As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked and kicked it into the wrong goal, right? So as Jake was running while he was escaping from the bank, so basically, and most of the times you see an expression like this, like while or as, uh, most likely that is going to be followed by a uh, past continuous statement, right? So that is what, what he just uh, said just uh, a couple of seconds ago, right? So we're going to see a couple of more examples. I think that probably this is something that you guys uh, learned maybe uh, before. I think that most likely that is the case. So we're just trying to uh, do some 
uh, review of this topic uh, so you guys can, uh, if you have any doubts, any questions, uh, we can uh, take care of that today, right? All right, so we're going to continue. Uh, we just have to watch just three more minutes. So here we go. What we're going to try to do next is we're going to look at a small paragraph and we're going to try to make sense of it. I will do this one together with you guys and you'll do the next one. So what we want to do here is, number one, we want to identify if the statement will be in the past progressive form or it will be a simple past form. In order to do that, we must follow this um, concept that I mentioned that we will use the past continuous for an action that was in progress and the simple past for an action that interrupted that particular action. So the two events are related to one another. Um, sometimes the events may be separate from each other and that's when uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to understand. So let's look at the first one. What you're going to do is you're going to use these verbs in parentheses that you see here and you will either turn those into a past progressive form or a simple past form. So while diverge, as I mentioned previously, uh, typically we will use, whenever you see this word, it will typically follow a past progressive form. But let's make sure that it makes sense. While, so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they, and here we should use this verb, okay, but then we have to change that into a past progressive form. So let's see. So while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they, discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars so yes it looks like this first event is related to the second sentence therefore this is the action that was in progress and this next sentence is the interruption of this event so let's kind of like make it work so while divers were working That'll be our first answer there. Off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars. Okay, so that makes sense for the first one there. Now let's look at the next one. The divers. Uh, and also the next sentence also appears that there was an action that was in progress and then there was an interruption. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to use the verbs in parentheses. So, so the divers, and we're going to say where, we're going to take that verb and we need to change that into a progressive form. We're filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. We also need to change that verb into a past form. So there we go. Okay, so what I would like for you to do is to identify whether the sentences are related to one another. And if so, identify what was the action that was in progress and what other action interrupted that first action. All right, guys, very good. So uh, there isn't too much to say about this. Uh, we have this little example here. Uh, he was saying that sometimes the actions could be related, but sometimes they are not related. So uh, in this case, we, like I mentioned before, uh, we have two uh, actions. We have the first one that was like happening in the past. Then we have another action, a second action that interrupted uh, the first action that was uh, in progress, right? Like in this case, while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million, right? So do we have any questions about this uh, vocabulary? Do you know what a shipwreck is? Or do you know what a coral reef is? Do you guys know that? I don't know what it means. You don't know, okay. No problem. Yeah, so shipwreck is un naufragio y el coral reef es un arrecife de coral. Okay. Vocabulario un poquito raro, pero es vocabulario también que nos puede servir. So Thank there you. we go. You're welcome. 
Welcome, very good. Any other question, guys, about this? Any other question at all? I think that this is a very easy topic, right? Like I mentioned before, you guys probably know exactly how it works. So I don't think that we need to take too much time to explain this. Bueno, si tenemos preguntas, esta era la parte acerca de el pasado continuo y el pasado simple. Okay? ¿Cómo los utilizamos para hablar acerca de eh, acciones que estaban sucediendo en el pasado y que fueron interrumpidas por una segunda acción en el pasado simple? Okay? Vamos a ver. Por acá, eh, déjenme decirles que por acá yo también tenía otra actividad que quería hacer con ustedes, quizás para finalizar, guys. Eh, tengo por acá como una pequeña, es como una pequeña, un test, digamos, es como una pequeña prueba que quería compartir con ustedes acerca de lo que acabamos de ver, de hecho, para que pongamos a prueba nuestros conocimientos. So, basically, uh, this is a quiz. That is the name of the, the website, actually, like quizzes, in this case, quizzes. And I would like to share uh, the link so you guys can access to it. You don't got, you don't have to have an account for this. You don't have to sign in or anything like that. You only click on it, then you type your name, and then it's gonna take you to another uh, screen. So you can just answer some questions. Okay, this is like a test. Uh, this is this is not like something uh, for your grades or anything like that. This is just so we can practice. Okay. So I'm going to send you the link to the group. Bueno, lo voy a enviar por acá también. Vamos a ver por acá. Vamos a hacer esta pequeña actividad antes de que nos vayamos. Es acerca de lo que acabamos de ver. All right, guys? ¿Cómo va a funcionar esta actividad? Ustedes solamente tienen que acceder a esto. Ponen su nombre. Y después, cuando estén listos, vamos a iniciar. Y vamos a responder unas preguntas, ¿ok? Just like that. We're going to have a couple of options, like, I think that, like, three options, three or four options for each question. And then you only have to click on the one you think is the right option. And then um, that's it. Just like that. Very easy. Ahí tenemos a Luis. Very good. Yeah, I'm ready. Awesome. Very good. Jonathan, too. Yes. Thank you. Dinora, okay, awesome, very good. You guys are great. Daniela, okay, good. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Sabemos 10, bueno, contándome a mí, creo yo. So we should be at least uh, seven or eight in the game. No sé, no sé los demás. Creo que por ahí tal vez alguien dijo que iba conduciendo. Así que no creo que todos se puedan unir. But hopefully most of us can join the game so we can just uh, complete this quick test. Dos, cuatro, cinco. Vemos por ahorita seis. Okay, good. We have six. Maybe one or two more. We're going to take just 10 minutes so we can do this. Just 10 minutes, guys. Just wanted to do something different today. Vamos a ver. Rodrigo, no lo veo por ahí todavía. Rodrigo, Josué. You guys good? Do you guys need more time, Rodrigo? Josué? I don't know if Josué is the one who was driving. I'm not sure. Eh, vamos a ver. Bueno, si no se... Ah, oh, ahí está. Acaba de conectar a alguien más, creo yo. 772658. Okay, no sé quién es, pero. Uh, no problem. <ríe> creo que alguien le puso el código en la parte donde va el nombre. Pero está bien, no hay problema. That's good, no problem. That doesn't matter. Okay, so if you guys are ready, uh, I think that we can start. Because we don't have too much time, right? So, uh, okay, we're going, we're going to start right now. So, here we go, guys.
All right, very good, guys. So you only need to click on the option that you think is the, the correct option, right? This is about vocabulary a little bit. And also, it's going to be a little bit about what we just learned, OK? OK, there you go. I can see that some of you are working on it. You guys are doing good. Took seven seconds for someone to answer. Very good. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos. <laughs> awesome, guys. Let's keep it up. Good, good, good. I think we have 18 questions, okay? So I think that we have enough time because you guys you guys are doing it pretty fast. I can see that uh, some of you are, just need like 20 seconds or even less so you can answer. So that's good. Yeah, seven seconds, 15 seconds. So you guys are doing a great job. Sixty-one percent. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. We have Luis, Jonathan. Then we have Ariel, Franco. You guys are good. Vamos a ver. Kaito de Nora, Daniela. ¿Están teniendo algún problema? ¿Se, se les detuvo o algo? No, teacher. Okay. I uh, read the question. Yes. Okay. No I problem. Read, I choose the option, but I think it, it stopped or something. I don't know. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, because I can see that you still, like, you have the same score. It's, it's not moving. It's not going up. That's yes. Why I ask. So is it completely stuck? Is it just not doing anything? Anything. It's just a stop. I choose the, I choose uh, I choose one paragraph and nothing happened. Nothing happened, okay. Well maybe you can try to reload the page or something. Hopefully that okay. can work. Okay. Let me tell you guys that this is my first time doing this, so uh, but that's... Excuse me? Just let me see. Okay. The same teacher. Same I choose the, the paragraph and nothing happened. Nothing happens. Okay. All right. Well, that's very, very bad. But it's okay, okay. for me. Oh, just let me see. So bad. Sorry. I had to push the button, submit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. It's okay. Sorry. No worries. Yeah, that's fine. I think that, I didn't know that. So, to be honest with you, it's like the first time that I'm doing this. So, did you okay. that you have like any any questions? Do you have any issues? Just like Daniela, you need to select the option and then you need to click on submit. Okay, you tap on submit. Teacher, I... Mm, just the option, but I have difficult. Why? What? What is going on? Mm, I confuse 
a little confused. <laughs> yes, need, okay. <laughs> I need uh, more practice. I see. No, it's okay. It's okay, Nora. We that's the reason why we do this, so we can yeah. kind of see uh, mm -hmm. what is is more difficult for us, so we can uh, you know practice and we can improve that. So you you need to click on the option that you think is the right option, and then uh, if you see an option that says submit, you need to click on it. Okay. Okay, teacher. Vamos a ver por cuál va ahorita, Dinora. Uh, let me see. Um, number seven. Number seven. Let me see. Mm -hmm. They have number uh, seven right here. The sentences. Yes, I was trying to visit my parents last night when mm -hmm. I were I get stuck mm -hmm. in the elevator in the apartment building. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. entonces. I uh, guess, uh, I, su I suppose, um, the option number two. This one? Okay. But it's, but it's back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because remember that this is what we just learned just a couple of minutes ago. So basically, mm -hmm. when we have two um, actions, we have one mm -hmm. that was happening in the past. Like, I was trying to visit my parents when I got stuck, okay? Mm -hmm. Tenemos la primera, eh, tenemos como, por así decirlo, una acción que estaba eh, en progreso en el pasado mm -hmm. cuando otra la interrumpió. Y esa es en el pasado simple, okay? Okay. Um, the group option group, um... In this case, uh, the right option would be number one, because it says, I was okay. trying to visit my parents when I got stuck, okay? Mm -hmm. Esta no sería porque, aunque está acá en el pasado continuo, uh -huh. pero acá está en presente, entonces por eso no, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso tiene que observar. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank very you. good. You're welcome. Teacher, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. Why do we use got, uh, got stuck, for example, mm -hmm. and why don't we use get? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, okay, very good. So, like I was saying before, since we are talking about something that was happening in the past, and then uh, a second action happened that interrupted that uh, situation that was, that was going on, that, that is the reason why we use the simple past, okay? Just like here. Let me show you. Uh, so no, if, mm -hmm. Sorry. So if we're talking about an action in the past, the next the next or the coming verb is in the past. If we're talking in present, we'll be in present, get, mm -hmm. and the next verb. Is that right? Sí, básicamente en este caso, Kevin, es porque estamos hablando aquí de algo que estaba sucediendo digamos por ejemplo eh, aquí dice yo estaba intentando visitar a mis padres cuando me quedé atorado en el elevador entonces algo estaba sucediendo en el pasado y de repente pasó otra cosa que interrumpió eso entonces eh, una parte va a estar en el pasado continuo mientras que la otra parte la acción que interrumpió lo que estábamos haciendo va a estar en el pasado simple Y en el caso de que, por ejemplo, dijera, I got married, mm -hmm. sería, eh, sí sería así, ¿verdad? I got married. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pero también podría, podría otros, y si, y en este caso, de get, de get, de got married, en presente sería get married, mm -hmm. o get married. Eh, en presente sí sería get married. Es que como es como la expresión así, ¿verdad? Eh, casarse. Entonces, así es. No no va a cambiar. Si es en presente. Ese es como una excepción, aparentemente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es que married vendría siendo como una especie de adjetivo, por así decirlo. Eh, uh -huh. el, el, verbo, el verbo en sí mismo sería get. Como, I, I get married. Eh, y si fuera en pasado sería, I got married. I got. Porque el verbo es... Ok, sí, le, le preguntaba porque yo 
yo utilizo eso como una regla para distinguir eh, cuando usar, por ejemplo, I got lost o I get o I get lost. Entonces, yo utilizo Mary. Si es I got Mary, es me casé. Uh -huh. O I get Mary sería me caso. O al menos así lo traduzco. Uh -huh. Sí, entiendo. Uh, si, por ejemplo, dice I get... Bueno, no, si dice, por ejemplo, I get married, yo me caso, por ejemplo. <ríe> Sería, yo me caso. And I got married, eh, yo me casé. Entonces, uh, ahí vendría siendo como de esa forma, más, más, más o menos. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. So, it's just like, um, yeah, in this case, it's a little bit confusing, but just like the example you gave, like, uh, I get lost, que okay, yo me pierdo. Like, I get lost in the night, or I get lost uh, doing something, I don't know. Uh, eso es como algo que pasa en el presente, por así decirlo. Pero el verbo principal va a ser, en este caso, get. Okay? El otro es como simplemente, eh, como por así decirlo, como una cualidad, como una condición nada más. Entonces, el verbo que va a ir cambiando es get. Okay? So, I, I have gotten married. I got married. Siempre va a permanecer igual esa parte. Igual que lost. I get lost. I got lost. Still, lost remains the same. That, that is not going to change. It's just get. That's the only one that changes. Basically, we are interpreting as adjectives, not as nouns or anything else, or verbs correct. even. That is correct. That is correct. Sí, recuerden de que las palabras tienen diferentes funciones, ¿verdad? En algunos casos... Tenemos, por ejemplo, los gerundios, que los utilizamos en algunos casos como nombres. A pesar de que es un verbo, por así decirlo, gramaticalmente es un verbo. Eh, pero nosotros le damos la función de un nombre. Entonces, eh, hay ciertas palabras que ya tienen esa función, como de nombre. Entonces, eso es lo que pasa. Bueno, vamos a ver. Eh, no sé cómo vamos, que creo que casi terminaron, ¿verdad? Pero ya hasta nos pasamos de la hora. <ríe> Esta vez sí que... Nos tardamos un poquito más, ¿verdad? Sí, we have 77%. Uh, are you guys done? Ya, ya terminaron. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Ya terminaron? Dice 6 de 7 ya terminaron, de hecho. I already sí. finished. Very good, very good. Vamos a ver, aquí tenemos... You too. You too. Ok, good, Daniela. Very good. So, as you can see, uh, we have... I don't know if you can see my screen, but we have the scores. Uh, Luis... Uh, number one, then we have Ariel, Franco, Daniela, who came back because he, he was having some difficulties. And then John, and then I, I don't know who is 772658, I don't know. And then we have Dinora, that she was having a little difficulty at, at the beginning. So, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the score doesn't matter. I just wanted to uh, have, like, I'm sorry, <clears throat> I, just, I just wanted to have like this different activity for you guys so we could practice a little bit. So I hope that you guys liked it. And if you guys liked it, uh, then you probably can let me know and I, I can try to get something like this in the future. Bueno, ahí está, guys. Ya no les Una muy buena dinámica. Una muy buena dinámica para decirle. Very good. I, I, I'm happy that you liked it, Kevin and Walter. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. That makes me happy. Me too. Very good, Jonathan. Very good. Very good. Well, thank you, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. I appreciate the feedback. Thank you, Luis. So, guys, uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for coming to the class again. And I hope you guys have a great evening. I will see you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Good night. I like Thank it a lot, the activity. Thank you. Bye-bye. Awesome. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Daniela. Bye.